Let's take a look at how to create an open rewrite recipe using declarative refaster syntax. Refaster is a tool that uses normal, compilable before and after examples of Java code and applies the corresponding transformation across the Java code base. Open Rewrite supports refaster syntax for defining refactoring operations, which makes authoring recipes much faster. Let's see how this is done from an expert. Today, IntelliJ taught me about a string append builder optimization that I didn't know about. So I'm going to show you in the form of a rewrite, open rewrite unit test, what that string optimization was. In rewrite test, I'm able to define some example code. So I'm going to create a class called test here. This nice language comment right here helps IntelliJ syntax highlight the string that represents my test, which is pretty cool. And here I'm going to create, Copilot's going to do a bunch of hallucination here. Yeah, that wasn't super helpful. Let's void test. Um, I'm going to create a string builder. It's trying really hard to help me right now. And I'm going to pass in a string here as well. The optimization that IntelliJ taught me about is if I do this, s.substring05, you can see the intention action right here. I'm going to highlight it. It says the call to substring is redundant. I'm going to take this. This is the before text now, the, the, the bad code that we don't like. And I'm going to let IntelliJ actually fix this. Remove redundant substring call. That's what they say, remove redundant substring call. And so this is the correct code. Did you know that there was a three argument append? I didn't until IntelliJ suggested that today. So that was great. I fixed it at that one space or place in the code where I, I saw that action. What if I wanted to now go look at 100 million lines of code and fix every occurrence of this? not just the code that I have in my IDE right here. We're gonna write a recipe to do that. First of all, since this is intentional, I'm gonna just tell IntelliJ, thanks for the help, but you're done helping in this context. We're gonna create a recipe over here, string optimizations. I'm actually gonna create an outer class here because I think we're gonna be adding more and more string optimizations. And I'm gonna say, redundant substring calls in string end. And I'm able to say before template right here. And look at this. Copilot now has enough context to tell me and I think from the test that we have open over here that this is probably what I'm trying to fix. And this is really kind of the goal here of the end as well. So let's set on this unit test, we're gonna set the recipe that I'm trying to run. I'm gonna compile and we're gonna try this. And that test passed. But what if I change this to 0, 06? Would it still work? No, it broke. Because it said recipe was expected to make change, but made no changes. So our recipe has too many details. What if I said in M, in N over here? I could say M, N. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, it did replace it, but I haven't changed the after text yet. So now I changed this to six. That was cool, right? It Now it works for any integers. What if I had something like this, a sum method? Um, let's just return one plus two here. 
and take this and we're going to put it down here in the after text as well because these have to match. And instead of a six, I put some here now. Will it still work? Wow. So when I wrote this recipe, it's not just any literal integer, it's any expression of type integer. I could do sum, sum plus sum plus sum, or times. And it still works. To learn more about authoring recipes, check out our documentation.